Hello, good morning. I'm Chris Menard. Today I have a special Excel exercise on advanced flash fill. And happy Easter Sunday, by the way. What I want to show you is this. I've got a list of names running down column A, and they have prefixes, the first two, middle initials, and some of them have a suffix. Uh, some are doctors. I want to lose... I just care about the first name and last name. I don't want the other stuff. I don't want to have to use functions, and text to columns isn't going to get it either. So I'm going to use flash fill to fix this. But if you don't know what flash fill is, I'm going to do a quick 50 second exercise on flash fill. Over in column A, I've got first name and last name only. So this is a perfect example. I'm going to type in Bill, tab over, Smith. Sue, Tab, Jones, and I realize Chris, enter. Watch what happens when I hit the letter K. That is flash fill automatically picking up the pattern that I want. And I'm looking there, and they're all correct, so I'm going to press enter. Then over here, Menard, the minute I hit the letter D, flash fill says there's your pattern. If flash fill doesn't automatically pick up the pattern it is on the data tab at the top data tools is flash fill but I've already done it so now that one was a pretty easy one because it was already set up first and last name the issue here is again these names are all mixed up so I bet flash fill if I had a guess here is going to pick up the wrong pattern so Arnold Smith Mark, the minute I hit the letter M, there's flash fill. That's clearly incorrect. So a flash fill is not picking up the pattern you want. And again, I've got three things to get rid of. Prefixes, middle initials, and suffixes. So I'm going to quickly type in several names here. And I'm not letting flash fill work. And if you're wondering why I'm picking these names, if you look at the first two I did, they had a prefix in front of them. I got two more names to type in, actually three, real quick. Bill Smith. Uh, let's do Tammy. By the way, I'm hoping this works. And if not, it's going to work, but I'll, there we go. So the first two names I left off the prefix. So I'm trying to get a pattern for Flashville to see. The next two had middle initials, Mary and Carol. I left off the middle initials. Elaine Kelly's an interesting one. I put that one in there because it's actually a first name and last name. And it's actually correct, but I wanted Flashville to know that that one's perfectly correct. Bill Smith is the first one that's a doctor. Suffix, left it off. Tammy Jones, Sean Martin also have suffixes and left those off. So I did at least two of every one except for Elaine Kelly. Highlight them. Data tab. I put a screenshot of flash fill in case your screen's maximized. It's still under data tools tab though. Data tools group. Data tools. Flash fill. I'm going to click it. I'm checking it by the way in case you're wondering. And it looks good as correct. I only had 17 names, but assumed I had 170, or 1,000, or 1,700, or 2,000, or 17,000. It doesn't matter. That's why Flashville is so cool. Functions, I could have done this with a function, but that would have been really complicated. Text to columns would not have worked for this, but Flashville is your answer. So there's an advanced Flashville. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I won't charge you anything to subscribe. And have a great Easter Sunday. Thank you.